All right, guys, how's it going? Born again, Joyce, right? Have you noticed that Paul Joyce of the Times has suddenly, you know, kicked into overdrive uh, and he's churning out articles left, right and centre since Michael Edwards uh, came back into the fold, you know, or maybe not directly at Liverpool Football Club, but FSG, same thing, whatever, you know what I mean? And um, there's clearly a good relationship there. Um, Joyce, uh, you can't shut him up at the moment. Right, okay, so it's important, it's really important, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because he, uh, and you might not like this, uh, has made reference to managerial candidates today, and I, I don't think this is the first time, uh, because some of you guys mentioned in the comments something similar to me. Um, he's saying that Roberto De Zerbi is among the candidates being considered at Liverpool Football Club. And I think he put something out the other day along the lines of something to do with uh, Roberto De Zerbi. I didn't see that because uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week, I was busy with things. It's the international break. Uh, and today I'm kind of catching up on things and stuff. And uh, in this article that came out today, which I've just made um, a video about, Bournemouth Chief Scout Mark Birchall to join Richard Hughes at Liverpool. In the article today... He says, talking about Richard Hughes, uh, Richard Hughes is being entrusted with appointing his replacement, Jurgen Klopp, uh, with support from Edwards. Xabi Alonso, Roberto De Zerbi and Ruben Amarim, Ruben Amarim are among the candidates being considered. Now, different journalists are, are, are wording it in different ways. Most of the journalists are saying Xabi Alonso and Ruben Amarim and leaving it at that. Some are saying Alonso, Amarim and Nagelsmann is in the running. Not many are actually saying Roberto De Zerbi. He is short in the betting odds. He's the third favourite with Bet365. He was the second favourite until Amarin came in, came in. And I have been making a number of videos recently uh, that have touched on, well, not a number of videos, maybe one. I don't know. I can't remember. That has touched on uh, Roberto De Zerbi. Um, I'm sure if you look in the, the titles of the videos in the last week or two, you, you'll see one, I'm sure. Um, there, some people do think that... Um, in fact, I did one today, didn't I? I did one today. See, you know my memory's terrible. And I, I'm not even joking. Uh Next Liverpool manager, the candidate Richard Hughes favours, no, not favours, oh, I've got to get it right, admires, the candidate Richard Hughes admires, because favours would suggest he wants to appoint him, right? So I did a video today called Next Liverpool manager, the candidate Richard Hughes admires, and that was Roberto De Zerbi. And we've now got Paul Joyce talking about Roberto De Zerbi again. <clears throat> and I know I haven't, made a video every time he's mentioned him. So I don't know if I'm making sense today. I'm really tired and I'm really off form. I'm sorry. Um, I just think it's, I think it's important uh, because Paul Joyce, he is born again uh, since Michael Edwards has come in. He is, you've got to be careful what you say, haven't you? I think some supporters might think uh, that since Edwards has come back in, that he's in a constant dialogue with Joyce. I'm sure he wouldn't leak, you know, highly sensitive stuff. I mean, I don't have an opinion on any of it. It's not, not to do with me. But I think some supporters out there might have noticed and would understand previous relationships, working relationships at the club and things like that. So what I'm trying to say here is if Paul Joyce is now dropping in Deserbe in the articles even only as an option or a candidate, there's something in it. Fucking take my word for it. I'm not joking, no bantering. You know, we like a giggle on here uh, and whatnot. And yes, we can only discuss speculation. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we we not not an ITK or an IDK as we're calling them at the moment uh, at all. You know, we 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 digest everything that's out there. We do listen to people from time to time that we trust and know and have a track record. Um, and we we bounce off ideas in in the in the comment section, right? 
a lot of you guys leave comments uh, and I go, ooh, yeah. You know, the, one of the guys on here that, that made, that, that inspired me or prompted me to make a video recently about Roberto, uh, Roberto De Zerbi gave his reasons why he think he could become the manager of Liverpool Football Club. I did a video on it about a week ago. Um, so yeah, we, we work together is basically what I'm saying. Um, but mark my words, guys, you could form your own opinions, right? But I know some of these fuckers know, and I know where they get their info from. And there has certainly been an uptick of uh, intel or information or suggestions or claims coming out from uh, Paul Joyce. And he's been very um, favourable and nice with his words about certain people, which backs that suggestion up, I think. Uh, and... Um, I have, you know, in the video I made earlier today about Richard Hughes, you know, uh, admiring uh, Roberto De Zerbi and trying to appoint him as a manager himself at one time. Uh, that, you know, that could be one reason why uh, De Zerbi's constantly been in the in the betting as a short thing, uh, short option. Because, you know, initially I thought, well, it must be FSG. He's an FSG appointment. has got it written all over him. Honestly, that's what I thought when I first saw Roberto De Zerbi as the second favourite to Alonso, ahead of Nagelsmann, ahead of Amarim and people like that. And then obviously we've, we've discovered that Richard Hughes likes him. And now that Joyce is saying it, guys, and he said it more than once, it's just me personally, I'd be like, mm, keep a fucking eye on that. All right, that's it. I hope I've made my, um, my point here in this video. I'm very tired, I've got to be honest with you. I'm not really in the mood at the moment. It's international week. It's boring. I hate it. I've lost my mojo a little bit. I'm all right. Uh, but, you know, so I'm just not on form, right? I'm a bit tired. And I guess, you know, I've been busy this week, so uh, with other things in, in my life. Uh, and I'm just coming down from that, I think, a little bit as well. So we'll be back on form soon. But, uh, you know, I, I do sometimes feel like I let you down when, with, with my videos and that. So uh, anyway... <clears throat> Joyce, born again Joyce, born again Joyce, we got born again Jesus, whatever, born again Joyce, absolutely, I, I'm convinced uh, that someone's in his ear and some people might think that that's Michael Edwards, and not me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that at all, anyway, so, uh, Roberto De Zerbi, <laughs> <sighs> Nothing would surprise me. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, please thumbs up the video. If you appreciate um, the video, it doesn't mean that you're like, oh, that's a good idea, Robert. No, if you appreciate my uh, my videos, please do give me a thumbs up. Well, not one of them. <laughs> on, you know, I mean, on this, the app or whatever it is, uh, uh, leave a comment. The comments on this video are going to be interesting, I think. Please leave a comment. You should always come back and read the comments. If you watch a video, even if it's 10 minutes after it's gone live and you read a couple of comments, don't sack the video on the head. Come back the next day and read the comments. I shit you not, all right? Uh, because they, they can be very interesting, depending you know, on who's commenting. Uh, and if you want to buy me a, a beer or a coffee, eh, depending on your religion and that, hit that super thanks button. Read the video description, get on the newsletter, follow me on social media, uh, but more importantly, leave a comment. Has any, have you, have, 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 has any of you guys noticed Joyce churning out more articles since Edward has come in? And they've been a bit like, no, is it just me? All right then, that must be my imagination. All right, guys, uh, I think that'll be it for, for me today. I never know. Oh, I'm going to do a live stream, no? <clears throat> Must do a live stream. Yeah, I'll stream later. I need to wake the fuck up though. I uh, will do a live stream, so <clears throat> make sure you go to the channel page, uh, tick, hit the bell at the top, put all notifications, make sure if you're on Twitter or X, whatever the fuck it's called these days, follow Cop Talk TV, facebook.com forward slash Cop Talk TV, get in our chat room, t.me forward slash Cop Talk chat, and when I go live, you'll get a notification in there, because sometimes YouTube doesn't tell you, right? It's buggy, do you know what I'm saying? All right, speech in a bit.